Here I have a BMW E90 with a slightly common problem, lighting system. Because of this error, I don't have turn signals, I don't have lights, I don't have electric power windows. And 99% of the times, this is because of the FRM module, the light module. And in this case, officially, you'll need to replace the light module and code it on the car. Unofficially, the light module is repairable because in the light module, the only thing that is failing is the software, not hardware. But first, I will make a diagnosis on this car to be sure that the light module is not responding. Okay, now I will connect with the car, switch on the ignition. Yeah, I know. Lighting system. Set up connection. And after completely diagnosed this car, you can see here the FRM module is not responding. And of course the comfort access one, but this is not for this video. The FRM module is not responding, it's in red. And you can see here the legend ACU not responding if it's in red, if it's yellow with fault memories, and if it's green without fault memories. This is the electric steering box without fault memory. This is the stability control unit, the DSC. It has errors. So now I will need to remove the FRM from this car to restore it. The FRM module on BMW E90, E91, 3 Series, X5, X6 or Mini, it's situated here behind this panel near the footrest of the driver. Now I need to disconnect the ICOM for the moment. I'll put it aside. This cap. I will leave it here. I will remove the carpet because it's dirty. I need to remove this panel. This panel has only three screws. They are T20. Now I will release the panel. I will pull it down and towards the driver's seat. From here, I need to remove the fiber optic terminal. I need to remove the light, the emergency speaker, and the Bluetooth antenna. This plug is a little bit harder to remove. Now with that part removed, I am able to remove this panel from here. But to remove this panel, I need to remove this part first. Like so. This thing from here have a Phillips type of screw. And another Phillips type of screw here. And now I'm able to remove this panel. I need to pull it from here because I have a clip here and I have another one here. But from this one will slide. I have some improvisation here. I will deal with this later. Now, if you can see here, this module from here is the FRM module, the light module. To remove it, I have a 10 millimeter nut here, one on the top, one plug here and two plugs here. The nut from the top, I want completely remove it because I will be able to slide the module. Like 
so now I'm able to remove these two plugs I need to push this safety pin and pull this tab and voila the module is removed okay now I need to prepare the tools In this box I have the X-Prog, the tool that will uh, do this repair. I have a special clip, the power adapter and the dongle. Now I need to remove the board from the module. First thing I will clean the dust. To remove the board I need to push this tab. One here, one here, one here and the last one here. This is the board and you can see these are the pads that I will work with. For this I will use this special clip. If you want something like this you need to search it for yourself on Google or on internet. You can search FRM clip. If you don't have that clip you need to use something like this and to hard wire to solder these wires here on these pads and this will be connected here like so now I need to align the special clip with the contacts from the board I need to make sure that the pins are perfectly aligned I'll connect this here I'll connect the power supply to the X-Prog and now I will start the program this is the program open I'll make it bigger Okay, now I will select a new file, device. From here I will select the D flash because I want to read the D flash. From the D flash I will create a new information to write back on EEPROM because the EEE partition, the EEPROM, is the partition that will fail. Okay, now read the glasses. Partition corrupt, I will hit OK. OK. Now we have the information. You can see. All this is the information. Now I will save us. Uh, here I will say E90 save next step I will exit from here I will open the second program D flash to EEE from here I will select the E90 open I will save it the same I will give it a name E90 EEE Save. Now I will have the V number, the programming date is incorrect, the software version and the ZB number. Okay. I will hit OK. Next I will go back. I will close this. I will select open. I will open the file that I have created. 
all files desktop let me search it more easily e90 e -E -E. this one from here open now the file is opened i need to change the device i will go to e, -E, -E from here i will hit ok i will hit erase yes i will erase the device I will select the maximum number of sectors, that is 16, 16 sectors, I will hit OK. The Xprog now will erase the sectors, the memory. Now if the memory is erased, I will write it, write on the device, yes. Now it's writing. Perfect. Now I will disconnect everything from here. I will close the program. Me personally, I will add a date on the inside of the case. And now I will put everything back I will hit the plugs with some contact spray Now I need to repair this thing because I don't like to leave something like this behind. Now I will use some PVC tape to somehow restore the integrity of the wire, the insulation of the wire. So, and some cloth tape. This is Tessa tape. If you want, you are interested, there are links in this video description. Perfect like from the factory and I will mount back the plastic parts something like that put back the screws Now here I will clean a little bit of dust because it's not very complicated. 
and now I will mount back this plate. I need to plug back the light and the emergency speaker. And don't forget to root the cable on its special clip here. Next from here I will clip back the Bluetooth antenna. Nice. And last step, the fiber optic terminal, the loop. Now I need to catch this cover on two tabs. And now I'm able to push back the fiber optic terminal. And finally, put back the three T20 screws. And clean the scene. Now the quickest way to test the FRM is to put the hazard lights and it's working. Now if I will switch on the ignition, I will test the tool signals that are working, the lights, everything seems to be perfect. And the electric windows, yeah, they are working. Now I can connect back the diagnostic equipment to erase the errors. Now I will reconnect with the interface, display fault memories, delete fault memories, and the FRM module will become green. Switch off the ignition. Switch on the ignition. It's green. The FRM module have joined the network. Now we have only two errors. One of them are because of the comfort access module is not responding. And the second one is the AUC sensor for the climate control, but this is not present. Now, if I will go in the FRM module, everything seems to be okay. The dates about the module, the BMW part number, the operating software, the production date, everything but if somehow the information was corrupted when it was repaired or rewrite with the xprog i will be able to restore a part of uh, them by coding the module and to code the module i will use the ncs expert it's very easy i will select a profile load profile expert man okay i will select the sirius e89 okay from cis okay I have identified the car, I will hit back, process ACU, I will select from this list the NFRM, I will hit OK, change job, SG code D run, OK, execute job, it's very simple. Coding active, coding ended. And now everything is restored, perfect. I will call up the ACU and after that we have a new error communication with step motor controller on the right uh, okay uh, this I have uh, seen the headlight from the right it's steer to the maximum on the right side from what I remember I will uh, show in a second and that is not connected with the thing that we have done today uh, maybe it's a problem with the headlight, with the controller from the headlight, maybe the headlight have water inside of it, but um, this will be done in uh, another day, because this was not for today's job, and today's job was done with success. Perfect. Now the lighting system is working perfectly. I have some errors. I need to check that problem with the headlight. Uh, next step is to diagnose and try to repair the comfort access, but that will be a separate video. 
I will end this video here. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me. And till next time, stay awesome. Bye now.